Hi, I'm speaking to Dr. Susan Mitchell. Hi, doctor. How are you? I'm great. How are you, Paul? I'm good, but uh, let's see. Uh, this is a sensitive subject for me. The five biggest fat myths, okay? Okay. Well, what are those? Well, I think the biggest one is is that people think they cannot eat fat or that all fat is bad and that so they must cut it out. And actually what we know now from research, Paul, is that fat can not only be good, it can have heart health benefits. So the key is for you to become a label sleuth and to learn about the fats that you're dying, uh, that you're buying. And the easiest way to do this is when you look at your product, pick it up, turn it around, and go right to the ingredient list. And remember that ingredients are listed from most to least. So what you're looking for are heart healthy oils like sunflower oil or corn oil. And right now with the holidays and, and all the snack chip options out there, this is a healthy way to know that. Frito-Lay has been a leader in taking out the bad fats like trans fat that you've heard so much about and right. replacing it with these heart healthy fats. So go right to the ingredient label, look for sunflower oil, corn oil, canola oil, and that tells you that you're doing something good for your body because you're putting in a heart healthy or good fat. Okay, you're a registered dietitian. Yes. Could you explain uh, uh, polyunsaturated fats? Could you understand? Could you uh, 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 give us a background? What are the different kinds of yes, fats? Yes, I sure can. Okay, the bad fats, the ones we're trying to move out of the diet, are what's called saturated and trans. Trans fat, another word for that on the food label, is hydrogenated. So when you see hydrogenated, you want to get rid of that or eat less of it. Saturated fat and trans fats, the bad guys, they look like... Um, shortening in a can. You know how thick that is? And that, cl that clogs your arteries. What you're looking for are the polys and the monos. The polyunsaturated fats, the monounsaturated fats. Those are heart healthy fats that are in the form of oils like canola, sunflower, olive corn and in the body they have the heart health benefit of raising up the good cholesterol called the HDL bringing down what's known as the lousy cholesterol or the LDL so that you have a heart health profile that's improved okay another one of your biggest fat myths is that the amount of fat is more important than the type of fat right we used to think that it was less fat no fat and that was it what we now know is that a moderate intake of fat is a good thing when that fat comes from a heart healthy choice and so the smart thing to do as a consumer is to learn what those choices are to constantly read those labels and then to look for them in terms of corn, sunflower, sun, uh, just like we were saying, the ones that you find now in, in snack foods and such, many have taken the trans fats out, like Frito-Lay, and that's the great thing. Okay, baked is better uh, uh, overall. So how do they do that for billions of potatoes? <laughs> they must have big ovens. Right, you know, forever we've been told just baked, baked, bake, and that was because we were with the no-fat at all. And now, we, because we have found out with research that fat can have a heart health benefit when it's the right type of fat, chips that are cooked in or any snack food that's cooked in, the healthier oil can be just as good a selection when you're choosing a heart health type of oil. So what is it about oil? Is it like a like a STP for a car? It's a lubricant for the body, for the joints? Well, or, uh, yeah, what, what oils and fats mainly do, I mean, they have many roles in the body, uh, but in terms of heart health, what they do is when you have a healthy oil, it prevents uh, or causes less artery clogging so that you have greater Im improved blood flow and therefore a healthier heart. So the idea is choose a healthy oil, help keep a healthy heart over time. So does the oil literally go through the, uh, the arteries and uh, kind of like lubricates it so the blood can go through well, it. Or it's actually well. broken down into many different composites and what we know is that some type of fat when it's broken down actually adheres into the artery and forms plaque and when that plaque closes off the artery you can have a heart attack so your idea is to keep the arteries open when you eat more heart healthy type of fat there's less plaque formation it's like when you have a water hose and that auto water hose gets a clog and then the water won't go through it you want to keep the hose open so the water flows. It's the same thing with your um, arteries. You want to keep them open so the blood is flowing. 
Is olive oil a good oil? Olive oil is a good oil. It's a monounsaturated fat. It's not the only good oil. You also have peanut, corn, sunflower, but certainly it is one of the good oils. Okay, last question. Trans fats aren't the only problem, though, for heart healthy. Is that right? I'm sorry, say again? Trans fats aren't the only problem right. for trans, heart healthy. Yeah, trans fats... Um, Saturated fats, those are the two you want to avoid. You want to move towards the liquid oils. Absolutely. Okay. And they're not the only uh, problem, though. There's right. others. Oh, oh, sure. And um, what you just remember is think heart healthy oil, choose a heart healthy oil, and you're on your way. Fantastic. Okay, Dr. Thank Susan Mitchell. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Paul. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.